Hey everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker, and the garden is going. Let's see what's still growing. Okay, so I can tell you there is just dead stuff everywhere. I mean, there's, you know, a few spots where life is trying to hang on. Um, we're letting a lot of um, things go to seed just so we can have a little bit for next year. That come up on their own, kind of like um, some of this okra did. Now, we still have baby okra coming out, and um, I want to know if some people have heard this little, I don't know if it's a southern tip or trick or whatever, but we got another harvest of Roma tomatoes, and I'm looking where I'm stepping right now um, because I see some fresh ant heels. Now, these here, these are just kind of gone now um but yeah we got another harvest of these um about a week ago several of these bushes put out a few more uh tomatoes i want to know if anybody else um has heard of the trick to beat or whip <laughs> your tomatoes and get another harvest. Now there's uh, some kind of bindweed growing in here, but the gist of it is, is to stress out your tomato plants, not to starve them of fertilizer or to starve them of water, but to smack them around a bit until they produce more tomatoes. I had never heard of that. My dad actually was the one who um, told us about it. Until until then, I hadn't heard it, and it's just something that he said the old folks did, and I'd never um, heard anybody my age anyway, and I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but nobody my age has said that, hey, smack your tomatoes and get another round. <laughs> I guess tomatoes really do like it rough. Um, still got a little bit of Tythonia, uh, the Mexican sunflowers. Uh, I think they're called Velvet Torch or something like that. Um, have some uh, dahlias and zinnias still growing. Um, basil's going to seed. Got some, uh, look at that rooster comb popping out of all the African daisies over there and black eyed Susans. Um, there's a zinnia over there. More zinnia. I've collected quite a bit of seed already from these, so I'm not too concerned about getting more, but they have kind of taken over. This kale tower here is a narrow de Tuscany kale and it basically grows into a tree um, the lower leaves get eaten off or pulled off and it'll just keep growing taller and taller and taller and it should by winter um, which we're almost in winter now because it is like October the 11th um, it should get at least four feet tall by um, maybe January depending on how much ice we get. All right, so we had started uh, putting pavers underneath our um, arch trellis, and you can see that all those um, white Vienna, I believe, noodle beans, 
not Vienna, goodness, Vietnamese <laughs> noodle beans. I mean, I'm sure they have noodle beans in Vienna, but those aren't them. Um, they are just everywhere all over um, inside and on the outside of the arched trellis. These are the other um, double head um, zinnia that we have. And a lot of them have made the double head already. And, and some actually are going for the triple. Even though there are no tomato flowers growing. That wild and crazy tomato that grew the really heavy weird leaves. Is still alive in there. Along with these um, beans. Uh, snap beans. I have not eaten any more in a while. I haven't harvested them. And so the bugs are just getting them. <laughs> Another whip the stalk method. This red bell pepper. Even though you can see um, these red sweet peppers have all kind of um, rotted. I haven't even watered in a while. Just beat the stalk. And it's still trying to grow back and produce. 